Thank you for giving me this opportunity to present you some results of my work this year. I've been working on the FT study for structural electronic and optical properties of ZNPESE and ZNSSE ternary alloys. In the following presentation, I will start with an introduction and then sonoline and alloys, then DFT, next results and discussion, and finally conclusion. Recently, the two six semiconductors uh, have been attracting a great attention due to their electronic and optical properties, which make them a good candidate in several applications. Zanxonon light is one of the two six semiconductors crystallizing in different phases as zinc plant ward size. Uh, the one that concerns us here is the zinc plant phase. It has this, the, the following parameters and the following position. To have ZNTE SE and ZNS SE ternary alloys, we have combined zanxonite with TE and S elements respectively. So our calculations are based on DFT. Uh, it's a computational method to investigate physical properties. Uh, its ultimate goal is the calculation of the total energy of the system and ground state electron density without using the wave function. For the structural properties, the volume optimization was performed by minimizing the total energy using the birch marnagan equation of state. Our calculation shows that the lattice parameter for ZNTESE alloy increases with the increase of TE concentration from 5.64 to 6.08 angstrom. And for ZNTESE, the lattice parameter decreases with the increase of S concentration from 5.64 to 5.4 angstrom. And this is due to the, to the difference between the atomic radius of TE, S, and SE. For ZNTE, SE, the bent gap decreases with the increase of TE concentration from 2.68 to 2.38 electron volt. And for ZNTE, SE, the bent gap increases with the increase of S concentration from 2.68 to 3.64 electron volt. Uh, the dielectric function uh, allows us to estimate the optical properties as the refractive index. So uh, for the ZNTESE, the refractive index increases with TE concentration from 2.5 to 3 with TE concentration in the visible spectrum. And for the DNS SE, the refractive index decreases from 2.5 to 2.1 in the visible spectrum. For the DNTE SE, the reflectivity uh, increases from 18% to 25%. The reflectivity uh, for the DNS SE uh, decreases from 18% to 13% in the visible spectrum. The transmittance, the, for ZNTESE, the transmittance decreases from 80% to 72%, but for ZNSSE, the transmittance increases from 80% to 92% in the visible region. I'd like to recap the main points, so for ZNTESE, the lattice parameter increases, but the band gap energy and the transmittance decrease uh, with TE concentration. Uh, but for ZNSSE, the, the lattice parameter decreases and the band gap energy and the transmittance increase with S concentration. Thank you for your attention.